kind of math problem sign heuristic that you definitely want to know how to do is called repeated identity it came out last year PSLE and once you know how to solve it, it is super easy guaranteed so in this video I'm going to show you how it is done okay now some people find this so easy they, uh, they wonder why do we do I even have to teach it because to some people it's like uh, this common sense is easy right but then to others it can be difficult but to most students as long as you do like maybe two or three you will get it already you get it and then you know what's happening it's up, it's up, right so i'm going to go through wait, 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 wait. so i'm going to go through this uh, at least two questions so you know what's going on <laughs> okay first of all let's read the story so james has three times as many students as nancy nancy has three times as many students as tom for repeated identity concept usually there are three people james nancy tom okay so i'm going to write the ratio of their suites like that huh? j is to n okay now what's the ratio of james to nancy james to nancy three times right so james is three nancy is one and then after that nancy has twice as many as tom so nancy to tom nancy is to tom okay uh, i'm going to write tom here what is nancy to tom twice as many right so then is it's two, Tom is one, one, yeah. So that's okay. So what I want to do is, you see, for repeated identity, for repeated identity, usually there will be one person that's being repeated. Okay, who is the person being repeated in this case? John? There's no John. No? Repeat. So Nancy is being repeated here as well as here, okay? Now, she should have the same number of seats. So what we do is we make... Uh, this equal to 2 as well. So to make this set of ratio equal to 2, make this one equal to 2, I need to multiply by 2. So that's times 2. Okay, this ratio times 2. As a result of that, I'm going to get a new ratio. J is to N to T. So this one times 2 becomes 6 to 1. Okay, 6 is to 2 is to 1. So 1 is equal to 21. How many seats does James have? Uh, six units. Huh? So six units will be? 126. Yeah, 126. That is the final answer. Very straightforward. Eh? So let me just repeat one more time. There is one person that's being repeated. You just make them the same ratio. Make them the same by changing the ratio of one set. It can be on top or bottom. Okay. And then after that, uh, just find the ratio from there. 